Sometimes people need heroes. Even the broken ones. Hey everyone, I'm a little late to Pika 1.0 thanks to the holidays, and I wasn't lucky enough to get in as early as some, but I was able to finally try it out a bit while on vacations, and I can say it is a fantastic step in the right direction. I'm a big fan of using Stable Diffusion on my local machine, but without my main computer over the holiday, I was still able to create some pretty impressive things with Pika 1.0. I believe currently the waitlist is either open or admitting people very quickly. To get started, you can sign in with a Google account or Discord. As of right now, Pika 1.0 is 100% free and unlimited. When you get to the landing page, it will be here on the Explore tab. This is a community feed where you can see examples of other users' work. You can even use these examples and build off them if you wish. All the controls and options on this page are the same as the ones in your own library. The Library tab brings you to your projects. It will be empty to start, but as you can see, I've been busy. To get started straight away, you can type a prompt down here and generate a three second clip immediately. Now that this is opened up to more people, it can take some time for a clip to start generating. Sometimes a video will get stuck at, your video will start generating soon. You can try hitting retry or just waiting, or even just starting a new one. If they all seem to not be generating, you can just take a break and come back later. For me, they have all finished eventually. Anime and 3D animation styles have worked very well with Pika. I spent most of my time trying to get a live action trailer together. As you saw in the beginning, it took several attempts on some shots. However, when trying a Pixar style, more often than not, I got something usable. Prompting feels more intuitive than before. From short prompts to something very descriptive, it's been easier to get something close to what I want. So let's go through the controls. You have the text, prompt, and this star that is the generate button. Here you can load an image to use a reference or even a video. You can't upload anything above 10 megabytes, and no matter how long the video, it will only use 3 seconds. Here you can get to the video aspect ratio options, with the two most popular at the top for 16x9 for YouTube and cinematic videos, or 9x16 for shorts, reels, or TikToks. You can also alter the frame rate. 24 is the default, but if you are trying to get a different look, you can easily lower the frame rate here if you wish. The next tab with the camera icon is the motion control. Here we can add custom motion to a video with very similar inputs to runway. In the last tab below, you can find the parameters settings. Here you will have the negative prompt, seed, and consistency with text. My experience with negative prompts felt a bit uneven. Most generations were without any negative prompts, and those with some didn't feel that much better, but your experience may be different. The seed can be set to a specific number, otherwise it will just be random. Keeping it to the same seed will give your generations a little less randomness between each one. Last is the consistency with text. This was confusing to me at first, but setting the number lower will keep the generations closer to your text prompt, while setting it higher will let the AI get more creative. 12 is the default and a good starting point. If you want to go back to default settings on any of these tabs, just click reset. Here's a quick montage with examples of different settings. Okay, I will show you one from start to finish. Let me run a simple prompt and see. And right away we will hit retry a few times to get multiple examples. It's always a good idea just to increase chances of a good generation. A reprompt lets you edit the text prompt or any of the settings for the generation and try again. We can change the aspect ratio. Add, add some camera controls. Increase strength a little and whatever else you want to change and generate. While we wait for that, we can use the edit feature. In here are the modify region or expand canvas options. 
Modify region is great if you get a good video but want to change a part of it, such as adding sunglasses to this character, resize, and move this to cover the area we want changed, type in sunglasses, then click generate. And now while we wait for that one, we can do expand canvas. You can easily expand canvas however you want, but let's change it to a 9 by 16 and see if we can get more of the character in the picture. Here is our first retry. You can see why clicking retry a few times can be useful, as not all of them will be usable. This is our 9 by 16 reprompt with the added zoom and camera motion and two strength. Here is our modify region where we added sunglasses. It unfortunately changed his entire face. I probably should have made the box a bit smaller, but you get the idea. And here is our expand canvas, not too bad at all. The three dots here have two more settings, add four seconds and upscale. Add four seconds does just that. By clicking add four, we come back down to the prompt to make changes and alter the four seconds we add. I will keep it simple and change the camera motion a bit and see what we get. Adding four seconds can have random outcomes. It usually does okay in the first few seconds it adds, but a lot of times starts to morph or do something crazy by the end. That came out better than expected, but it helped that I didn't change too many settings. When we finally are done making changes and get something we want, we can choose the upscale option. This is a two times upscale. At 16 by 9 ratio, we have a 12, 80 by 720 clip that we can upscale to 25, 60 by 1440. Up in the corner, you can see what you have done to each of the clips. This one has four seconds added, plus upscale. And it says video input because of the four seconds was added to a video clip that we previously generated. We can click the down facing arrow here to save our clip. And that's a general overview of all the tools of Pika 1.0. I hope you got something valuable out of this. If you want to see the full trailer I created from the beginning of this video, feel free to continue watching. Thanks. Do you know, it's starting again. The last vaults are opening. People coming into this world, no idea of the dangers. Until it's too late. So many bandits, moving from city to city, taking what they want, hurting who they want, burning what they want. Ghouls are everywhere. Ferals are hunting. Mutants from our nightmares. Why me? No, I have a family. Yeah, well, don't we all? If you don't, you will. Sometimes people need heroes. Even the broken ones. Especially the broken ones.